Hey, hey, I think I am live. How's it going? What's up, Facebook land? It's so weird. I think it, like I think I've done 300 live videos now, and I find it still so weird that I'm talking to my computer screen right now. Um, but I'm not. I'm talking to all of you. What's up? Hey, Eva. Hi, guys. So as you're popping in, tuning in, um, say hello, please, and let me know where you're tuning in from. Uh, just uh, rocked out a coaching call with a client, and I, we were talking about um, her direction moving forward in her business, and a lot of what was coming up was resistance for her. And so we were starting to talk about, um, I said, why are you having resistance around this? I mean, either it's that you have fear around doing it or you don't want to do it. Right. So I thought I'd come to you today and just talk to you about why it's so hard sometimes to do the little things to improve our life. And, um, maybe I'm alone on this, but I know for me, it's been, um, I've really been doing some soul searching about my direction. Um, obviously, I'm building a network marketing business, but um, I also have an online business, and um, I love inspiring and impacting other people and working with just really amazing female entrepreneurs. And so, I have a coaching business, and um, you know, I I sell digital products and things like that, but. Um, just been meeting and talking to just some of the most amazing, um, just some, some of the most amazing women. And, and, and I know that we're in the same boat, right? Like, am I wrong? Hey guys, I know I just kind of jumped in today and started talking. So hold on, hold on. Let me back up. Let me say hello. Uh, what's up Eva. How are you, sweetie? Um, Hey Robin, Monica, how's it going? Yeah. As you guys are tuning in, um, Monica's from Texas. Very awesome. Is it warm there, Monica? Let me know. So I'm in Chicago and it's freezing here. Um, actually, it's not that bad. <laughs> but I, I have probably about um, 30 other places that I would love to be right now <laughs> besides in this office. Um, but this is why I come live and I love your energy because sometimes as home-based entrepreneurs, let me know if I'm the only one that thinks this. Like, it can be kind of lonely at times, right? Sitting behind these four walls. So, I actually love Facebook Live because I get to show up and talk to all of my friends, which is really, really cool. Um, and my hair is doing some funky, something funky today. Anyways, um, anyways, hey, what's up, Christine? So, if you're new to who I am, my name's Julie Burke. I'm the founder of Create Success with Julie.com. And um, if you are new to me, drop me a hashtag new, and I will make sure to send you out. I came, I actually have my, I had launched my freebie about a month ago, and then I kind of pulled it off the shelf, and I just perfected it. And I actually have a branding video, a free uh, branding training and checklist. And so if you're new to me, I want to make sure that I send that to you. I actually went live today. Um, but what I want to talk about today is um, entrepreneurship and in our business and sometimes how, you know, these little things that we want to do to improve our life can be so difficult. And let me know, drop me a one in the comments if you agree. Like our minds are designed to stop us from doing anything that might hurt us, right? And so... When we sit in our perfect little box, right, our little comfort zone box, um, doing anything outside of that box that would make us feel like we are having fear, our mind is automatically going to say, uh, nope, uh -uh, don't do it, right? And so something I learned from Mel Robbins, who I absolutely like, adore this woman, right? She's the author of The Five Second Rule, is this spotlight effect that magnifies the risk that pulls you away, okay? So that's what the spotlight effect is, is it magnifies this risk of whatever it is. So for me, it was public speaking. And I was asked several times in my last company, when I first got started in network marketing six years ago, uh, to speak. And I would always say no. Why? Because it would pull me away because I had such a fear around public speaking. Like, do you guys have fear or like what? Okay. I know we all live with fear. I want you to drop me a comment and let me know what your fear is. So my fear 
uh, used to be public speaking, but because I decided to make the decision and change my decision, which changed everything, I said no and I started showing up for other people, okay? And I was asked to speak at more and more company events. And the more I kept doing it, even though I still got butterflies, I just prayed upon it. Every time I set foot on stage, I would go out, I would get the energy from the crowd, and I, I crushed it, right? And so what happens is if you change your decision, it can change everything because we're always one decision away from a total different life, always. When I flew into the online scene and I started my um, business page two years ago, one of the things that was said to me was, um, you know, you have to do video. And at the time, it was just video. It was before, I think Periscope was just came out. And I'm like, there is no way I'm doing video. And then all of a sudden, Facebook Live was born. And I said, I can't do a Facebook Live. Like, there's no way. I had so much fear around what people were going to think of me, the way it was going to look. What if I screwed up? I mean, do you guys have any of those same fears? I don't know. Maybe you, you're totally over that with Facebook Live. I mean, I... And now over all of that, and I, re I realized it was just nonsense because I needed to show up as Julie and nobody else. But in the beginning, I had that spotlight effect on it, which, right, which magnified it and was pulling me away. And then I wasn't doing my Facebook lives, right? Until one day, one day, I made that decision to show up and show up for others, not show up for myself, but show up for others. And I changed that decision and it changed everything, right? And so... We allow fear to make decisions for us. And that was exactly what was happening with um, my coaching client, right? And so um, the thing is, like, we all hit a moment in our life where things just don't go the way that we wanted it to do um, or wanted it to go. Like, there are several times where I flubbed up on Facebook Lives where um, – Let's say the only time that I was able to do Facebook Live was like right after yoga and I'm sweaty and I look disgusting and I did the Facebook Live anyways. And then I show up later and I'm like, oh my God, I look like a hot mess, right? Um, but here's the thing. There's moments in our life that we don't want to do something um, or we don't want to try something different even though we know that it will benefit our future, even though that we know it'll benefit our dreams, right? And here's the thing, it's all in how you react to it, right? So with the video where I showed up and I would look like, you know, holy hell, right, from doing this yoga class, instead of like freaking out and deleting the video, I kept the video, okay? Because I'm like, you know what? I said I was going to show up authentically as me, and I did. And guess what? That video had like some of the highest uh, views. I, there was like thousands of views on that one video. And I said, okay. So I proved to myself, and I reacted in a different way. Instead of deleting it, I kept going, right? So it's all about getting out of your own head, right? And that's what I was saying to her. Um, I truly believe in my heart that everybody is capable of success. Everybody. And there will come times in our life where we will maybe hit a wall or we will decide that we want to take a different direction and we'll freak out about it because we're, again, worried about stepping outside of our comfort zone. What is everybody else going to think? And I will tell you right now, following your gut and following your intuition and just starting and taking the foot in the right direction is so much more effective than just sitting on your butt and just thinking about it forever and doing nothing, right? Like, do you guys agree? Um, Robin's laughing about the holy hell. Yeah. So our brains are wired to stop us. I mean, plain and simple, plain and simple, but you always have the choice you always have the choice to shift your mindset. You always have the choice to shift your attention, to shift your direction, and not allow anybody else to pull you away from what it is that you're totally meant to do, whatever it is for you, your goals and your dreams and your desires. I recently made a decision not to go in a certain direction with my business. And I actually just got off the phone with one of my mentors. And... um. 
And I'm so happy I did this. And I did this actually before he told me. Um, so I was on a, I was on the phone with Ray Higdon last week, a very good friend. And we were talking and he said, cause I said, how do I know, like, how do I know if something's right for me? Cause right now I've been sitting kind of in this space where I'm like, okay, this is awesome. I've grown this great community, but I want to be able to serve them at a whole different level. And I'm not quite sure what that looks like yet. And he's like, Julie, one of the greatest things that you could do in your business is always is just test. And I don't mean like test for a year, like do a test, do like a four week test. So try something. So something that he is, I'll put this in easy terms. So with Ray, if you know who he is, he tested rank makers and, and, um, he said, he made that his primary thing, but he had to test it first to see if it was something that number one, that he wanted to do. Number two, that he was able to build a, a culture around in the community, which he's done very successfully. And so um, I was already in the middle of somewhat testing something with one of my businesses. And I realized that it was not the direction that I wanted to go. So that was one of the greatest things. And I will tell you, most people will do things just to do them instead of following their heart and following their gut decisions. And so really that's what I want to make this message here today is if you feel resistance around something, please listen to yourself and start asking yourselves the questions of, is this really right for me? Is this really the direction I want to go in? Why am I having the resistance? Why am I having this Fear. Is it truly fear or is it something else that's coming up for me? Is it something I really want to do and invest my time in? Okay, so start asking yourselves those questions because I'll tell you, it's super powerful when we start to look within ourselves and, set a step and stop doing what you feel like others want you to do. Does that make sense, you guys? Hey, what's up, girlfriend? Allison just popped in. How are you? Hey, Tanil. Um, so I want to leave you with this quote today um, from Joe Polish, and he's an amazing online entrepreneur. And he, I think this is so incredibly powerful, and it ties into what um, I'm leaving you here with, you know, today. Because, again, I do feel that everyone is capable of success. Do you guys believe that? If you believe everyone's capable of success, will you drop me some sort of heart emoji? Yeah, drop me a heart emoji. Because you know what to do. Most people know what to do, but they're hesitant in doing it because of fear, because of doubt, right? Because they're thinking too much and they're not taking the action. The reason I have been pretty successful is because I have a thought and I take action. Just like I was having the conversation with Bray last week and he said, to me, you test everything. And when he said it to me, I was excited because I mean, Ray, obviously he's, he's had a ton of success in his business. And I was excited because I've been testing stuff even before Ray told me to test stuff. So I'm like, okay, this is cool. I know I'm on the right path. And he said, anything that you ever have thought about doing, you always just test it first. And that's how you know. And again, you don't test it for a long time. You test it, you, you know, for a couple of weeks, right? So the quote is, one of the challenges we have in modern life is that there are so many options to do so many great things. And I truly in my heart believe that. I feel that once you develop your brand, once you develop these relationships with people, there's so many different directions that you could take it, right? And so um, he says, there are so many things throughout our lives vying for our attention. That if we don't man manage, if we don't manage modern life, it will manage us. Part of managing it is just making the choice that this is what I feel. This is important to me. And then really focusing on your gut and going after it. And I truly cannot agree um, in one of the amazing books I'm reading on uh, millionaire success habits. I love it. I truly, in my heart, I like this 
is the quote that I'm putting all over my office because this is so true. Um, because there are people out there, and I'm, I'm going to be first to admit it, you guys. I will admit it right here, um, that are just chasing money, and that has definitely happened. Last year, in 2017, that was, like, my life. Like, just, I need to make money everywhere. I need to make money in affiliate marketing. I need to make money in, in coaching and in network marketing and all this other stuff. And, I mean holy crap, it became like almost, um, almost like a, like a, like where there's a glaze over your eyes. I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that. Like where you're, you kind of like wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Yes, I've made, um, incredible income and I've helped a lot of people, but I don't feel in alignment with what I'm doing. So why am I doing it? Am I doing it for others, right? Like this is where you stop and you start asking yourself the tough, tough questions. So in January, I made a promise to myself to not just go and slap any old thing out there, to not just go and create like another product, to not just go and put together another coaching program, like to really in my heart decide who it is that I want to move into serving and getting really like more clear on that now more than ever. Um, because when I started, you guys, it went pretty fast. Like it just, it just went fast. And of course, when things go fast, you're just like in work, 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 work. Like, let me just spin more content out there. Let me just get more stuff out there. Right. Instead of taking a step back and saying, okay, this is where I feel like there is a need for people in this marketplace. What is my unique approach? What is my unique spin? What is my unique message? Okay. And then saying, this is where I see that most people are getting stumped and where they really need my help. And then designing something around that instead of just throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. Does that make sense? So if you feel like you're at that point in your life, I really encourage you to stop, okay, make the decision to stop and focus your energy to what it is that you truly want to do and look inwards, not outwards, and don't worry about what everybody is going to, to say. I mean, again, what he said is there are so many things throughout our lives vying for our attention. They're all over the place. Here's another webinar. Here's another training. Here's another group. Here's another uh, program. You know, here's another coach. There's so many things vying for our attention. Um, and so if we don't manage modern life, it's going to manage us. Okay. Habit of quitting is the number one habit. Habit of hesitation is the number two habit. Those are the two top habits. Quitting and hesitation. That's why you see so many people quit inside of network marketing. That's why. Because they have no skin in the game. So what is it for them to stay? They don't even give it a chance. Network marketing is one of the greatest professions I, I feel because it could give so many to, it could give so much to so many and have to have that, you know, you don't even have to have a high, high school education to make a million dollars in segment network marketing. You guys, how freaking cool is that? Right? But so many people quit. So many people quit. Why? Because they let doubt get in the way. They let fear get in the way. They let rejection get in the way. They let what their friends and family get in the way of what they're going to think think and do, right? Quitting is the easy way out. Quitting is what has been embedded in our subconscious when we were younger and we're like crying to mommy and daddy about, I don't know, um, you know, maybe if for me it was cheerleading. Maybe I had a cheerleader call me fat when I was younger because I was fat and it's okay. I had weight issues growing up. Um, and it left an imprint on me. And so what was embedded in my subconscious? Oh, my parents said, you know what? It's okay to quit. It's all right. So what happened? My subconscious, what shows up? Every time the going gets tough, I would quit. I had to reprogram that. I had to like literally do a lot of personal development work to reprogram that because it's just easier to quit. And it's easier to hesitate and not take action because taking action sometimes is what? Uncomfortable, you guys. <laughs> it's uncomfortable, right? Um, so anyways, I had to change my story. 
I had to change my story and I had to start showing up in my life. So I encourage you to change your decision, change everything, right? You guys, if this was helpful, drop me some type of emoji if this spoke to you in any way. And if it did, please like it and share it with those that you know need this message, all right? And like I said, I came out with my new Amplify Your Brand video. Um, it is for free. It's my free gift for me to you. Uh, it just rolled out today. And branding, I talk about um, because I feel that developing a brand has been one of the keys to the success um, and changing my mindset, of course, and working on my personal development. But one of the keys to success of being able to build all my businesses was showing up and building this brand. And, um, and I know a lot of people in this space, they don't know what the heck does that mean to build a brand. So if you'd like to know, I need you to put link into uh, the comment section. I'll make sure to get that to all of you, okay? All right, guys, love you. Thank you so much for showing up with me. Um, I really enjoy doing these lives from my desktop. If you have not done a live from your desktop, I highly recommend it. It's pretty cool. Um, and I also have some interviews. I'm going to get back into doing interviews, so stay tuned. Uh, stay, stick close to the page. If you're not on my email list, get on my email list. Um, I do not slam emails every single day. I send one, maybe two tops a week. So do not worry. And they're, they're full of value. Okay. Uh, but get on my email list and I look forward to seeing all of you on the next training. Bye for now.